Well, the City of New Hope is, has been a member of the Green Step Cities program since 2015, and we're really excited about the 10-year anniversary. Uh, the City of New Hope opened a brand new City Hall facility in 2019. We made sure to incorporate a lot of green initiatives and sustainability efforts, in, and we really uh, used the Green Step Cities program to help guide us in the process for making that building uh, sustainable implementing all kinds of best practices with the help of the experts with the Minnesota Green Step Cities program. So we're really excited about that. Um, additionally, the City of New Hope was the 2017 Sustainable City Award winner, uh, due in part to a project at Northwood Park in which we constructed a 160,000 gallon underground irrigation tank, which collects stormwater and is used to, it goes under a street, under Boone Avenue, and irrigates the ball fields across the street. So we save about $10,000 a year in irrigation costs for that, uh, for the watering of the, those fields. And that is one of the bigger projects that we've completed uh, during our time with the Green Step Cities program, uh, which led to that uh, 2017 Sustainable City Award. The city has been active uh, for many, many years, and it truly is a guideline that we use when we plan our future uh, uh, work, whether it be pitch streets, whether it be remodeling at our treatment plants for, for water, um, and uh, also the solar equipment that we have installed over the last several years to make us 93% uh, green energy for our, our city buildings and streetlights and those kinds of structures. So, so Green Steps is, is, uh, is, a, is an everyday uh, thought process that we go through in the city of Red Wing and, and uh, we look forward to completing more things. Hi, I'm Julie Moore with City of Shorewood. We just received our award for our step two for the Green Step Cities. I am looking forward to the challenges ahead of working, possibly getting some solar panels put in our city, working on getting some renewable energy purchased, particularly for our water system. I think the Green Step Cities program has helped us by giving us some goals and some purpose. The Green Steps process for us was a launching point for us to dive into uh, putting together a climate action plan, which was also driven by community member input um, and community organizations that approached the City Council and said this is a priority. Uh, we have this reflected in our climate action plan, in our stormwater management plan, in our comprehensive plan as well, and, um, and we look to incorporate climate concerns into all of the policies that we make throughout the future as a major value of the city, largely because uh, we sit right on the shore of one of the greatest lakes on the planet, and we, we would like to do our part to make sure that we preserve that and make sure that the natural environment is as good as it can be for us and for people who visit us. Northfield has just passed a quite significant climate action plan. As part of that, we are targeting Green Step um, initiatives that we can add on to our already uh, long list of Green Step initiatives we've done, having started the program uh, nearly at the beginning of the Green Steps and being at the highest level until the new levels were added recently. What's really good about the work that we're doing on these types of issues is connecting, getting out of our silos, uh, working off each other's shoulders, uh, trying to make it um, so that collectively we can do things that individually we can't. And there's so much to be done now. Uh, climate change, uh, resource limitations, financial limitations. Uh, and it's really time to work together. And Green Steps provides some of those tools and some of those, um, those uh, resources that might help that city just take that next step. I'm thankful that the program like this exists to help cities like Albuquerque meet their sustainability goals and grateful for the opportunity to be able to network with like minded professionals. One of the things that I think is really great about Green Step Cities is it's a, a, a network opportunity for communities and it's also a, a way to learn from each other. Um, there was a question earlier in, in our breakout session about uh, 
waste management, essentially. Like, what do we do with all the litter and trash mm -hmm. that's at the, at the side of the road? And I pointed out that you can look at what other communities have done and how they've tackled that problem. West St. Paul and South St. Paul, we've done a really good job with a lot of the different action steps. We have organics collection at City Hall. We're using compostable products for all of our large meetings in the city. And um, we're looking to the future to add Mendota Heights, and hopefully we can become step two as well in no time. It's Kevin Bright, I'm the uh, Energy and Sustainability Director for the City of Rochester and the Destination Development Center Projects. Uh, we've been involved with Green Steps for a number of years. Uh, it's really helped us benchmark our sustainability activities and kind of set a plan for um, really was the impetus behind the city passing and uh, creating an energy action plan uh, that we've been kind of implementing for the past few years here. So we found it really helpful and continue to update our practices so that we can learn from others as well. We really appreciate having Green Steps organized at the state level. The uh, structure of Green Steps allows us to uh, track progress on uh, various projects, whether it's parks or traffic or whatever. But uh, being on the Energy Commission, I'm uh, most impressed by the ability to do benchmarking, learn from benchmarking what things are working, and then go build on, on that knowledge. The City of Jordan, I think we're most proud of the way that uh, the Green Step Cities program has made sustainability into something that's really actionable. Uh, we've uh, reduced the amount of road salt that we use uh, during the winter. We are now designated a Soul Smart community, uh, and we also um, are, are really firmly have our sights on Step Four. So uh, we're very excited about being a part of this program, and and really appreciative of the support that we've received. Part of my project has been researching all of the different things that Duluth has been doing um, that fall under the Green Steps actions but haven't been reported yet, that Duluth hasn't been getting credit for under the program. Um, so over the last couple of months, I have reached out to people in the community, in all the different departments in the city, um, and have cataloged more than 110 actions um, have been submitted. Um, Duluth should be to step four um, come June, which would be absolutely fabulous. City of Cassin, and we are currently working on trying to get EV chargers installed. I'm with the Isaac Walton League, which is a conservation organization in Bloomington. So we've been encouraging our city to become a Green Step City or be thinking about sustainability since 2005. So we are so excited that we got a, a sustainability commission in 2017, and we became a Green Step City in 2018, and we're already have gone from one to three in terms of action steps. We've uh, just gotten a new city council um, slate going, and they're totally in um, support of Green Step City, so we're really excited about where we can continue to go. We've supported heavily the organized collection. That's been one of the really important steps that the city's taken, and we're looking forward to doing a whole lot more. And we've got very positive, proactive council that wants to support those things. So we're grateful for the Green Step Cities program because it's provided a lot of stability, um, benchmarking, and a way to really move ahead with progress. I am part of a group of women that um, became aware of the Green Step program, and we got our little heads together and decided to approach our city about becoming a Green Step City. So we did that. Um, it was, we are the newest Green Step City, number 134. <laughs> um, and uh, we're kind of in the baby step kind of mode. We're still gathering information for ourselves to try to figure out how to proceed. When Owen has been a Green Step City uh, for about three years, it's lower level uh, step two city. Of the and what we found very useful is a roadmap, a guide, that provides ideas for what we can do to advance our state. And the program I think is great uh, because it allows for it's voluntary. So that's big for us as well as bringing a lot of resources from the different cities, a lot of good organizations like really so it brings a lot of resources to bear for us to connect with and work with and it helps us really a lot more to be able to do our own stuff. Hi, I'm Emma Schultz. I'm a Green Step Best Practice Advisor through the Minnesota Department of Natural Resources. Uh, it's my pleasure to help serve communities who are looking to strengthen and protect the health of their urban forests, especially those communities that are currently dealing with emerald ash borer.